this point has been to remove the protest uh, essentially entirely off of Broadway. As police in the nation's capital disperse protesters who have been occupying Ottawa's downtown for weeks, officials with a trucker protest encampment in Winnipeg say their slowing of traffic on one of the city's main corridors is soon coming to an end. We want our voice to be heard, but we also don't want to be a burden on downtown residents and businesses. Traffic has been restricted in the area by protesters since early February, and now the demonstration will move off of Broadway and expand its Memorial Boulevard setup to nearby Memorial Park. Caleb Brown, one of the organizers of the Winnipeg camp, said the decision to move was part of negotiations with police. We know that this ends at some point. Um, we want to stay as, and have our voice heard as long as possible. If that means that we uh, have to shrink our footprint um, in order to do that, uh, we're willing to do that. That's a concession that the Winnipeg Police Service has asked us to make. Counter-protesters with Defend Winnipeg, however, say they don't believe the move was just a gesture of goodwill. It is, it is an attempt to save faces, an attempt to, to become legitimate, um, you know, but, but nobody's buying it. While organizers of the Winnipeg demonstration say the camp has been free of violence and hate, with a strict code of conduct guiding the local movement, Defend Winnipeg say harm has been caused by their presence and Winnipeg police let members of the public down. What you did uh, as the chief of police was handle this with kids' gloves and you've put the entire community um, at risk. I have testimonial after testimonial after testimonial of folks uh, detailing their experiences. We have folks utilizing our safe walks um, because they don't feel safe because of the har har harassment. Um, this is all documented and we can provide it. On Friday, members of the WPS executive addressed the move, with Chief Danny Smythe saying police have been able to make significant process with demonstrators to avoid widespread enforcement or arrest. Not where we start when we engage with uh, protest groups. Our approach is consistent and, and it starts with building a relationship and, and a rapport with organizers so that we can balance their um, their right to be able to demonstrate, but also balancing the needs uh, of the community itself. So I think we've seen sufficient progress that this approach is the appropriate approach right now um, to advance too far into hands-on or hard tactics, I think risks elevating and escalating the situation unnecessarily. Superintendent of Uniform Operations Dave DeLal says frontline officers and the service have been working closely with community stakeholders and demonstrators as the service deals with the protest. Asked if demonstrators would be ticketed if they stayed on Broadway, DeLal said he couldn't comment on the talks, but noted enforcement action being taken in other jurisdictions is a factor in the ongoing communication. Protesters are fully aware of uh, what's happening in other jurisdictions in terms of arrests, in terms of ticketing. Um, so that's all part of the negotiation of trying to influence a peaceful resolution to this. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.